But then it makes you have a full understanding because when you think of all the verses that says, you know, Christ lives in you and uh, even where we're at in 2 Corinthians, the back end on 13, it says, do you not realize that Christ Jesus is, is in you? That's 13, 5. Yep. Well, that's a big question. Right. Because my first impression would be, I, do, are you talking about a, a guy who was here 2,000 years ago, over 2,000 years ago, you're saying that he's in me? Well, this is seeming weird to the world. Right. Like, oh, you believe so. that you're possessed by the spirit of a person that was here over 2,000 years ago? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what we're, that's, is that's what he's asking. Right. He's saying, that's why. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you? That's why when I, I, I talk to the naysayers who, no, 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 they don't believe in God and all this, I'm talking with them. I usually end up by saying, let's just look at it logically, though. Who has the best story? Well, yeah. You with there is no God or globs or molecules that go around, you know, and then we die, and then that's, that's all of that. I said, or this. The, but they're the thinking resurrection this is of the sci-fi, dead. Phil. Huh? They're thinking this is sci-fi. Yeah, I know. They're like, well, he was here 2,000 years ago, and now you're but saying you're most of them will, Most of them will say, well, if what you said is true, you you probably have the better story. But I like the idea that Paul was Life beyond death. I mean, you know, you live on. I like the idea that Paul was saying, 